So hi everyone, my name is Fouad. I'm the director of product for uh, Aruba User Experience Insight. Uh, today I want to tell you about AI alerts, which is a feature that we introduced into the product uh, uh, that's called Aruba User Experience Insight UXI that helps IT operation teams proactively detect uh, issues that are happening on their network and, and take actions on them. Uh, so uh, a bit of a background on, on UXI specifically, uh, I want to just level set because it's not a traditional product. Um, UXI was acquired by, by Aruba uh, in 2018. It used to be called Cape Networks, a company that I helped co-found. And, and it's a different way uh, uh, of looking at, at how uh, a different way of measuring experience uh, for networks. So what UXI is, is an overlay system that goes on top of any wired or wireless network. And it's deployed at the edge at, at retail stores, at, at, uh, at branches of offices. Uh, and it uses sensors similar to the one on the back uh, on the wall. And what that sensor is, is really an edge device. It's a client that behaves like an employee or a guest in that environment onboards on these networks, uses applications, does transactions like logging into a web app, doing some transactions, logging out, and also measures the underlying infrastructure, you know, trace routes, pings, DHCP, DNS performance, sends that data up to the cloud, which basically uh, uses machine learning and analytics to expose to the end users or the, or the IT operations team a, a simple view telling them, how are applications performing on your network? Uh, and also allows them to integrate this with uh, third-party systems through webhooks and APIs to open up tickets such as ServiceNow and so on. So it's something that is vendor agnostic uh, that you deploy on top of a network. If you are an Aruba customer, it will integrate with Central and start playing with Central and sending that user view end-to-end to, -end to Central. Now, the benefits of this is it's real time. It's real time issue detection and alerting, and I think that's that's kind of the key differentiator here when we look at the what we're doing with machine learning. It helps change management validation. So in, in large networks, there's always something happening. You're you're upgrading anything from firewall to software, WLAN, operating systems, even on you know any component, and it helps you quickly detect if something went wrong because it's a 24 hour, 24 seven continuous testing. A device that is behaving like your end users. And it allows you to do remote troubleshooting, dynamic packet captures, and, and a lot of other things. So the idea, you get faster time to detection and time to resolution and time to validation of your changes. It's proactive and it's end-to-end. -end. Now, since we got acquired, we, we were a startup company. We had you know hundreds of customers with, with 100 locations, each 100 plus. And we grew to a company that has thousands of customers with customers having thousands of locations. We're running 500 million synthetic tests a day, you know, logging into these applications that customers use and using these services. And what we started to see, yeah. So UXI is uh, effectively, you know, simulating user traffic and gain and gathering statistics on that traffic and providing that back to Aruba Central to provide information on, you know, the customer network in real time. Is that what's going on here? Uh, yes, it's, it's, a, it's an end device that's behaving like, like a user on that network where that user is a guest or an employee. It uses those applications. If it's a web application, it logs in. But on the, on the, uh, on the cloud side, it's, it's a standalone system if you're not an Aruba customer. Uh, and if you're an Aruba customer, you can integrate that back into Central. So from Central, you can see the end user view in your particular location. So you're, uh, there's always a Venn diagram of, of, of what, what actually is happening and what your network management systems can pick up. Because a, a lot of the times, you know, you don't have monitoring on the cloud and the issue is really in the cloud. Or, or it's for some reason an issue doesn't get picked up by your network management system or your traditional systems, but the end users are complaining. So this is kind of a complementary thing that picks up both. Uh, now, uh, from that perspective, you know, as, as we scaled up, we started to see the same issues that that we see uh, that you see in, in traditional monitoring. Where, you know, as as you scale up, we have customers now with hundreds and thousands of locations. We started to detect uh, a lot of issues, and 
we already took these issues and, and bundled, bundled them and, you know, sent alerts, created service now tickets. But now we got with large customers issues, 400 issues a day, 700 tickets a day being created. And we call them notifications. Notifications is kind of an email alert or something being sent to service now. Um, so when we, you know, this is how our product looks like. And suddenly, you know, we have a smiley face that shows, uh, that shows that everything is good. And now it's all sad and dread for, for these large customers. And really that's not what, what they are looking for. Because this is a proactive monitoring system. It helps them really take action on the important things. So when we speak to customers, we, we, we realize, you know, we're causing, we're, we're, we're experiencing the alert fatigue that you see from the NMSs plus the things that the NMSs don't see. Uh, and IT teams, they want to tackle important things and not normal issues. And th th the question became, uh, what is a normal issue in, in, an, in an environment? And, and that normal issue varies really from customer to customer. Uh, because, you know, some examples, some issues are transient. They resolve after several retries minutes or whatever. And some issues are, are known. They're not going to fix them now because they don't have budget. Some issues have limited impact. They're not going to tackle it right away. And, and these are behaviors that are specific to customers, specific to services. So the challenge is how, how do we help customers identify these abnormal issues? They are all issues, but some of it is, is, is they consider abnormal. Mm -hmm. So that's why we build uh, UXI uh, AI alerts. Uh, and what this is, 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 a, is an agnostic system that detects anomalies for customers and it's, it's per application. So I, I'm gonna walk you through what it is. So we, we receive issue streams from different locations uh, around the world or different branches. And usually it goes to issue, issue service that tries to make sense out of it. Now on the right hand side, what we built is, is an AI engine that, that, that takes historical data and other things and builds a model per customer, per service, so let's think uh, internal application that the customer uses. Uh, and, and we can even go into deeper and say, you know, for UK versus US. But right now we're saying per issue type, per service, per customer. And it builds a model around it. And the issue service, every time it receives an issue, sends, sends an, an, an API call says, is this issue anomalous? Is this, is this for that customer, for that type of issue? Or is it a normal issue? And then we, we group those issues into what we call situations if, if they're returned as anomalous. And we send the data both ways, both to the dashboard uh, if, if they want to interact with it and via notifications, which are used you know, to create tickets on, on things like ServiceNow or any other platform that the customer uh, uses. Uh, now, the question is, you know, what, what are these models? And what, what are we doing? Uh, the the, the the nature of UXI is that it's very, it's, it's an end to end system really testing uh, different, different things that behave differently. You know, it's like a login time, uh, DNS lookup time, uh, captive portals. So there are different behaviors. So what, what we did is our approach is to, we explore the data, we have experts in house, we know what we are dealing with in terms of IT operations and how networks should behave. We gathered customer inputs and we explored the thousands of, of data points that we have. And we tried to figure out what are the characteristics that are we looking for. So some of it examples, the rate at how, how issues are arriving compared to, to normal. Uh, how many sites are impacted? The time to resolution, you know, this issue usually resolves in, in five seconds, now it's taking more. Uh, the type of issue or network that it's occurring on. And then we chose the algorithms that fit that type of issue that we're trying to model, uh, uh, you know, being, you know, isolation uh, uh, algorithms, clustering algorithms, and so on. And then we started building our models. Um, and then we, we deployed the, uh, these at customers. And, and really the, the result was, was a, a great reduction in, in the number of alerts uh, and the number of, 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 of tickets eventually that gets open for customer uh, and helps customers uh, kind of really identify the things that they need to action uh, immediately. Uh, we have this deployed now at, at several customers. The feedback has been uh, great. 
we've gotten some feedback, you know, where the model sometimes, you know, does not pick up an issue as as an, as high priority that the customer might think it's high priority. So we we're refining uh, our our models uh, as we go, and you know, the idea is that we're going to have multiple models with multiple criteria. And the, the customer will be able to choose those characteristics that they want to apply to their data and, and, it, and fine tune the model to their, uh, or fine, choose the models that apply to, to their own environment. Uh, so, so far we, we've gotten kind of excellent results uh, uh, from, from, what, from the deployments that we have. Uh, and then we've taken this to a visual aspect of it. So instead of, looking at things as red and green, uh, we classify now the data that is not anomalous as informational. So we still give the customer the ability to see uh, the data that is, uh, that is not, but, but now it does, um, on the visual asset, it doesn't cause everything to go red. So now you're able to look at, uh, you know, a, a dashboard and, and know there are something happening, but nothing that you need to know about. And, you know, this dashboard is pretty interactive. Um, I, I don't have time to demo that, but it allows you to kind of glance to, to get uh, the, the, the full picture and to know where to focus on. Just an example of, of a, you know, one customer, DHCP data, timeouts always happen. And, and we, you see the data in, in blue uh, and suddenly we detected or the model detected there are 27 locations we have on a specific network, things were arriving very quickly and now it picked it up It says, and flagged it as a situation. Obviously from the dashboard perspective, it became red, but it also opened up uh, uh, or sent webhooks and, and emails and opened up tickets on, on, the, on the systems uh, that the, the end customer uh, uses. Um, so in summary, what is UXI alerts? It's, it's a feature of, Aruba User Experience Insight, and it, which is a tool for IT operations teams. It, it's an intelligent system that surfaces only the things that matter for them, that require real attention in real time. I think that's the, the key difference here. It needs to be quick. It needs to be in real time for them to react uh, quickly to it. It's customer specific. It's issue specific. It's service specific. So we have models that are tuned for that customer, for that type of issue, for that type of service. And it integrates with external systems to open and close tickets. So that's kind of the, the main use case around this. Uh, this is, currently, this, this is a new product. It's deployed with customers that have over 100 sensors, mostly uh, kind of roughly 100 locations, but it could be 100 sensors if they have multiple sensors per building. Um, and we're working with them. We're, we're fine tuning uh, those models. Uh, general availability is expected for every customer to be in the next a three month, uh, and we're going to start with uh, two, two to three models, and that that you know around duration, around rate of arrival, around the types of issues, and we expect to kind of keep on adding uh, models uh, to to discover anomalies per uh, per customers, and the customers will be able to kind of trigger and and choose uh, which which machine learning model they would like to. Uh, they would like to use on their network. So when you're talking sensors, is it a separate sensor from the AP or is it integrated? The, the sensor is, is, a, is a separate physical device. You can think about it as, as, a, as a small laptop and uh, in a, in a laptop in a small form factor. And the idea is to be independent from, from the network itself. So you're able to detect the issues that happen to the network. So it's a, it's a, it's a plane that is independent from the network and it behaves like a user, right? It, it joins the network similar to what you do. Uh, and it does these accesses, these uh, things that employees and guests use, uh, such as, you know, could be an e-commerce website or could be an internal application and, and carry, and does that 24 seven. Thank you.